Hello, and welcome Sagittarius to your September 16th full moon lunar eclipse reading. We're going to be having a lunar eclipse in Pisces. I'm using the St. Petersburg, Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg deck for you. What messages does Jupiter, ruler of Sagittarius, have for this period of time, September 16th, 2016. Oh Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? Messages for Sagittarius 2016. Super secret squirrel in reading meaning is page of clubs. This is a young and active messenger. Very energetic, fast acting information coming at you. Okay, so the page of clubs is about A faithful, loyal person, an envoy, an emissary, trusted friend, a stranger with good intentions, a consistent person, a bearer of important news. So, this is all about a uh, envoy or a message received from a trusted friend. Um, who generally is a consistent person, and this is important news. They are faithful and loyal to you. Page of Clubs. Important news occurring to a friend. You are in a position of the chariot, so you have already begun your journey into the future. The chariot is a uh, fast flying action. So, in deck, though the horses wish to pull in different directions, the Russian knight who drives the chariot manages to go forward. The initials of the artist YS are on the front of the chariot. Adversity, possibly already overcome. Conflicting influences, turmoil, vengeance, success, possibly a voyage or a journey, escape, rushing to a decision, need to pay attention to details, urgency to gain control over one's emotions. So you've recently um, begun a new job or area of study or something is really coming at you fast and furious right now and you are feeling at odds to come uh, to grips with your emotions and your new uh, happenings in your life. So you're perceiving the worst when actually things are just moving ahead and things are really good for you. Um, in your near future, your immediate influence is the Three of Cups. And I can't think of something that Sagittarius would prefer over the Three of Cups. This is all about um, three happy, vivacious, uh, friendly women who are going to a party. It is about the resolution of a problem, the conclusion, some solace, healing, a satisfactory result, a fulfillment, and compromise. 
So you are actually in a really good position right now. In your headspace, you have the Queen of Clubs. This is all about an industrious woman who has great skill. And this is also about uh, perhaps putting your own feminine nurturing skills at the fore and being industrious with them. So the Queen of Clubs is a sympathetic and understanding person, friendly, loving, chaste, practical, charming, grace, hospitality with a sincere interest in helping others. Um, so you, in your your headspace right now, you have uh, a nurturing female energy, which is very positive or you're becoming that nurturing female energy. In your distant past, you had the sun. So you had triumph. Uh, you had a feeling of accomplishment in your past. A uh, little boy rides a white horse. Both are garlanded with flowers. It speaks of satisfaction, accomplishment, contentment, success, favorable relationships, love, joy, devotion unselfish sentiment, engagement, a happy marriage, pleasure in daily existence, a good friend, high spirits, warmth, sincerity, pleasures derived from simple things, achievement in the arts, and liberation. So um, in your past you've uh, known great accomplishments and victories. In your recent past is the Ace of Swords. This speaks to intellectual accomplishments. So in your recent past you had great determination, initiative, strength, force, activity, excessiveness, triumph, power, success, fertility, prosperity, deep emotional feeling, love, championship, and conquest. So you've just come out of a whole bunch of victories. Things are really really good and you're just having a hard time catching up with it mentally. In your future, you have the Ten of Clubs. So this speaks to ultimate amount of action. Pressure. Problems soon to be resolved. Striving to meet a goal or maintain a certain level or position. Uh, possibly using power for selfish ends. So that is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, but this speaks of somebody who's working very, very hard and is completely and totally involved and engrossed in what they're doing. So someone who's going after, say, a promotion, a new, a new higher paying job, um, a new level of education or degree, someone who is um, submitting to a lot of tests and uh, is very active. Okay, so how you affect others, how they affect you. Um, and how, particularly how they are affecting um, your immediate position. The Two of Swords. This speaks of a choice. That, that you have recently been offered some choices. Uh, there is a balanced force at work. There is harmony, firmness, concord, offsetting factors, a stalemate, and affection. So, uh, you recently have some choices. You have an, some balance, which has recently come into your life. You have a new sense of harmony. You have a new firmness of foundation uh, from which to build. There is a level of concord, so there is partnership, concord, in this. Um, but there are some offsetting factors because right now you are unable to pursue anything of your own desire. You completely enmeshed in the chariot and the ten of clubs with the action. Above you, in your environment, 
um, an immediate present position. It is the Six of Clubs is your present position. So, Six of Clubs, a lot of clubs, is about conquest, triumph, good news, advancement, expectation, desires realized as a result of effort. So you will advance. If you've been promising uh, other people around you that that you're you've got this and you're really good at this and all this stuff, you're you're honestly saying the truth. You will advance. You your your prospects look really good. So I'm seeing a great deal of success in your inner emotions. You feel like the hermit right now. You're completely alone and lost and having to devote yourself to nothing but work or um, study. Um, you have cut yourself off and isolated. A used in traditional Slavic costume hangs calmly from an apple tree. Oh, sorry. My bad. Pardon me. We're not talking about the her hanged man, we're talking about the hermit. There we are. The hermit in hooded Cossack looks toward the left end of the card, as if looking at his past. Mountains behind him symbolize hardships. He stands for counsel, knowledge, solicitude, as in solitude. Um, prudence, discretion. Vigilance, cir circumspection, self-denial, withdrawal, regression, annulment, tendency to withhold emotion, and a fear of discovery. So, um, right now you're keeping your own counsel. You have some things that you feel you can't expose to others. You just don't need the drama right now. Um, in addition to all the action you've got going on in your life. And so you're isolating yourself, perhaps needlessly, from others at this time. In the conclusion, we have the judgment. So after the strife of working towards a goal, we eventually come to the end and have a judgment. And so this is the the culmination provided that all the influences things remain as they are and the influences remain as they are the archangel Gar gabriel blows a golden trumpet while soaring on a cloud that resembles the lower part of an egg three people emerge from graves carved with russian crosses it stands for eternal life atonement judgment, the need to repent and forgive, the moment to account for the manner in which we abused our opportunities, rejuvenation, rebirth, improvement, development, promotion, the desire for immortality, legal judgment in one's favor. One should carefully consider how present actions affect other persons. So. This speaks to me of, um, you will attain what you are working so hard towards, what you are uh, traveling towards, you will attain that level. Be sure, um, now I'm not meaning to get preachy, but be sure you're not locking other people out. Be sure that you're not needlessly being callous. Um, during this time of needing your own space because uh, you could be giving the cold shoulder to someone who you um, uh, would rather not give the cold shoulder to. Someone who you, you have in mind, who you care about, who is this queen of clubs, who um, you know, or you could be striving to be that queen of clubs. And while you're striving to attain, while you're on your journey and 
being the six of clubs right now, you're also being the hermit and you're keeping things secretive to yourself. And there will come a judgment for that. That's what I'm seeing. So while your plans will work out, the judgment is that perhaps emotionally you will have regretted a choice you are making right now. So, but once again, we have the page of clubs, which is the loyal friend, the trusted emissary. And so that is a positive thing that is coming towards you. That's what this reading is all about. So you have yet to have more information there is something you do not know that will improve things. Okay, so what meaning? Thank you. Hidden meaning. The crone for Sagittarius. The crone can also be seen upside down. Look again, wise woman. Direction. The crone. Scary, isn't she? She is the wicked witch in the fairy tales. The one who eats children and curses princesses. A monster? Sometimes. Now look at the rest of the picture. A pearl of wisdom is easy to spot. But turn the card upside down. Now what do you see? A sweet, smiling face. The same face. So what else is she? She is a wise woman, a healer, and a teacher. When you meet her in fairy, be aware of those two faces and look beyond her frightening aspect. Listen to what she has to tell you. She knows about life and she knows about love. She knows how treacherous they can be. And she also knows how to put you back on the right path when you are wandering lost in the dark forest of her relationship. She is that part of darkness, but she is also a beacon of light when you need one. All you have to do is be brave enough to greet her politely, help her if she asks you for help. You know this part, it's a test for you. Then listen to her advice. If you are careful, if you show enough respect, she may give you a, her pearl of wisdom and not turn you into a toad. So, <laughs> good luck, Sagittarius. Try not to have any women turn you into toads or turn anybody into a toad anytime soon because you might regret it. But other than that, full sails, all, all sails ahead, full speed ahead, all sails flying and you're good to go. So maybe get in touch with that crone energy, that wise woman. Good idea. Okay. So Namaste. Sanam. And many blessings. I hope this reading has helped you as much as it's helped me and as much as I've enjoyed giving it to you. So take care. And have a great night. See you soon.